hooked up. Oh man. Oh man. Oh boy. Yep, that's a good fish. Let's go. All right. Let me tell you something. Extreme chunking for stripers is a dying art of shore fishing. Kids out here these days throwing out Gary Yokohamas and, and Yozuris and, and Jiggy Do's and Jiggy Don'ts. That ain't gonna catch fish. You can't catch fish like that. I ain't never thrown no lure for no striped bass in my life. Kids these days don't have the patience to go out there and sit on a 15, 18, 20 hour soak. And it's sad, man, because they'll never know what it's like to catch a truly big striper. All these experts out here talking about moon phases and tide. Tide don't matter. When you're out there on a 20 hour soak, you'll fish every tide phase twice. And if you're out there every night like you should be, you'll fish every moon phase too. If you want to catch those big horny cows, you gotta throw out chunks. There's no two ways about it. You show up with a 12 pack of cold ones, a couple dozen bunker, and boom, you're striper fishing. All right, I'm gonna show you the best way to cut up bunker. Uh, I'm not a professional or anything, but I do chunk a lot, so this is kind of the way I prefer to do it. First off, use scissors, ditch the bait knife. Knives are for plebs. You don't wanna be using that crap. So what I like to do, get as close to the tail as possible, get rid of that, nothing's eating that. And then you're gonna go one, tail piece, two, middle piece, another middle piece, three, and then you got the head. So you got one, two, three, four chunks out of it. Oh, look at that blood. That's fresh bunker right there. <laughs> um, so yeah, tail piece is easiest to hook and cast, but doesn't have as much of the blood and guts. These two are probably my favorite. They got the blood and guts in them and they're not that hard to hook. And then there's the head. Some people claim the head is like 50 pounder candy, but I've never had that much luck using the head. But honestly, it doesn't hurt to throw out. So that's how you do it. Use scissors, it takes two seconds. I'm not using gloves or anything. I got a little on my hands, but honestly not that bad. All right, and how you hook the bunker is actually pretty important too. Some people bury the hook in it. No, 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 You do not want to bury the hook in the meat. You want the hook exposed. So the tail piece is the easiest to hook. You can go bottom or top, it doesn't really matter. I'll go bottom for this one. I'm using a seven aught circle hook. I highly recommend circle hooks. It's actually gonna be law next year that you need to use circle hooks anyways for chunking. So you might as well ditch all those J hooks. Um, but if you are gonna chunk, you need at least a six aught, preferably a seven or above, cause you gotta expose the bar. So really you just jam it in there and expose the barb. And that's all you need right there. That's perfect. That's not gonna go anywhere. All right, camera wasn't rolling sadly, but got this nice, about a keeper fish on the chunk. Really healthy guy, nice and fat. About to get him back in. I'm hooked up, baby. Definitely, uh, uh, it's either a striper or a blue. It's fighting decent. Definitely fighting decent. Drag a little. Yeah, this is probably a. I saw a cannonball. It's a small striper. Thing with chunking, man. Even a small fish can just like come up and absolutely destroy it. How are we looking? Oh, that might be a keeper fish. That's not a that's not a fish you hang on your wall, but it's a respectable fish, I think. Yeah, I don't think this is that great of a fish, to be honest. Oh, jeez. These little guys always freak out when you grab them. This is probably a 26-inch fish, if I were to guess. But he hit it with some authority, so that was fun fight. Healthy, very healthy looking. Come on. Come on, take it. Take it. Got him. Ah, oh, I had him. Had him and I lost him. <sighs> I think that was a blue fish. That felt very sporadic. Yeah, I came back up with an empty hook and a nice frayed leader. So that's a telltale sign of a blue right there. Got payback on this little bugger. Look at this thing. Literally piranhas. These are like piranhas of Rhode Island. All right, well, I missed this one too, man. Sometimes it's hard to film while you're chunking because the bite can go from really slow to really fast, but not a bad fish. Another maybe just keeper. Seems like today I've been really crushing like 26 inch to 29 inch fish on the chunk. 
It's my third one. Circle hook got him good, so get him back in, man. Chunkin's the way to go, baby. All right, hear me out on this. I swear I saw a fish swimming in here, so I'm gonna drop a chunk down without a weight and see if one just comes along and smacks it. There we go. I told you there was a fish down here. I told you. Oh my God. I caught him right at my, oh, it's a striper, no way. I knew there was a fish there. He came along and walloped it. That's the first time I've ever dropped a chunk at my feet and had a fish hit it. He's not a keeper, but that's a fat, healthy school. Like, that's a belly on her. That was really fun. Like, I'm, you saw it. I'm not lying. I literally just dropped that at my feet and caught a fish. So that was, uh, that was pretty awesome. Circle hooks doing the trick, getting them right in the lip. If that was, if I dropped that down with a J hook, there's like a decent chance that this would have been gut hooked. Hooked up. Oh man. Oh man. Oh boy. Yep, that's a good fish. I have no idea what this has got to be either a big striper or a big blue. Got to take my time. Take my time. That's a good fish. 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 Yup. 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 Oh man. Ah. All right, if you've made it this far, let me just start off by saying thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that chunking expedition. Uh, the beginning of this video is obviously a joke. I'm not actually that hardcore when it comes to chunking, but it is honestly my preferred method of catching big stripers. Um, yeah, that was actually just a blatant ripoff of this really funny video I like. It's called, uh, I'll put the link in my description. I think the title is called Talkin' Trash. It's, uh, it's a series called Hook Shots that Field and Streams does. And it's just, and it's uh, an absolutely hilarious spoof on people who like to chunk. So it's just like some of the stuff said in that video is hysterical. Like I've, st I've pretty much have that video memorized. It's definitely worth checking out. Also a big thank you. Uh, someone recognized me at a bar the other day. Uh, for my videos and actually bought me a drink. So uh, I just want to say thank you. That was really cool. And uh, I really appreciate stuff like that. So thanks again. Uh, but yeah, see you guys in the next one.